Hi, uh, on this video, I'm going to show you how to review the Samsung 203 cartridge. There are two ways to review it. It's on depend on how many, uh, how how often you review it. The first one is if you have the hole making tool, make the hole right here, and then refill the cartridge. And after it's done, put the seal tape to seal the hole. That is the way I do it. Because I, I bring a lot. I, ha I have to refill this cartridge almost once a week. So this way is easier to refill later on. Another way to do... Uh, we have to take out the three plastic lock right here. You can do it by using this real bit and just reel right on that lock so it come up or you can use the knife to cut it up. So you can take it and play out and there are the cap to refill inside under this play. And make sure you do it on the side with one, two, three, four contact tip. If you uh, choose to use the knife, always make sure the knife is pointed toward, not outside, not go back to your body, just in case you slip. Oh, and another thing I need to mention, try to use some paper towel or something to cover the drum unit. So that's why during the time you refill, you don't scratch it. And this rum unit is not designed to expose to the light longer. So we're going to remove the second one. After cut it all that plastic to lock this end play in. Now we use a small flathead screwdriver and just gently peel it out. At this point we can remove this end cap right here. Set the border until you see it very loose. Open the the border just like you open the soda can. Just open when you hear the click and stop for five seconds. Use the scissor and cut the funnel. Uh, tie the funnel very tight and now we're going to refill the cartridge. If you set the, uh, the bottle well, you don't need to press a lot of pressure when you refill it. The toner is very loose, so it's pretty much run by itself, and then you just sweep a little bit. Don't try to sweep too hard. Okay, now we just refill the cartridge. I'm going to put the cap up, back on.
now we're going to install the end plate uh, cap back. The reason I like to refill, make the hole right here to refill it, because I don't have to put it back on, because the hard part to, uh, to refill this cartridge that put it end plate, end cap back on. Because you have to make sure all the hole, all the contact is contact correctly. If it's for some reason, if it's contact, it's one contact to this row over here. You your printout will turn all completely the whole black page. So just be careful when you uh, put it back. And if you have any problem like later you print it out, the whole page is turned black which is the end cap didn't install correctly. So take it back out and put it back in. After install it, I'm usually just take a small piece of tape and tape and cap to hold it in place so it don't come loose. Normally you don't have to but but I just do it anyway. Okay now we done refill. Now we need to clean uh, replace the chip and clean out the weight uh, toner hopper. If you uh, this step is very important to clean out the toner hopper. If the toner hopper is full your print will have strike and all kind of uh, problem because there are the weight toner in here but if any weight toner they cannot come into the hopper they go back out and it will go in your pay. So we're going to use the hole making tool and just making the hole right here. You can do the, the back if you be if you choose to. Make sure you take the plastic up inside out. Usually it will stick in here, but I press too hard so it stay in there. Usually I don't have to do the second time. Just one time. But because this time I press the, the tool too hard, so uh, the, the plastic from the cartridge is not going to stay inside. So now I have to make the hole bigger to take it out. This part right here usually stay in there. Now we're going to empty the weight toner. Like this cartridge is the very first time I refill, so the weight toner don't have much in there. But if you would refill it a couple of times, uh, if you this cartridge has been refilled a couple of times and you didn't clean it, you need to take it out, clean it out. After that, we just go ahead and apply the seal tape to seal that hole back. Now we're going to replace the chip. Before you replace the chip, make sure, try to look. And remember that the long contact chip is on this side, so you can put it back in the same way it come out later. Just go ahead and cut this. Take, the, take it out and put that so you remember. Same thing, the chip, that's how I do it. So that way, when I put the new chip in, I remember which way they come in. 
I go like that, compare and then put it in. And then take a piece of tape and just tape this in a little bit. And that's how you refill the Samsung 203 cartridge.